you get to have it all. You get to have everything that you've ever dreamed about or desired. You are worthy enough. You are good enough. You've always been worthy enough. You always will be worthy enough. You get to have it all. You get to have everything that you've ever dreamed about or desired. You are worthy enough. You are good enough. You've always been worthy enough. You always will be worthy enough. And you deserve to see your dreams and desires come into full fruition and you don't have to settle. You don't have to sacrifice. Sacrifice is not required when you're on the soul aligned path. You get to have it all. You get to have it all. You don't have to settle. You don't have to settle. You don't have to compromise any area of your life in order to have another area of your life flourish. You don't have to sacrifice relationships in order to have a healthy career. You don't have to sacrifice your, um, your career in order to have a healthy body. You get to have wellness. You get to have purpose. You, ha you get to have deep meaning. You get to have the career of your dreams you get to have the relationship of your dreams you get to be in wellness you get to be in optimal wellness you don't have to sacrifice any area of your life in order to have another area of your life thrive and I want you to think about that for a second because oftentimes we think life is trade-off and yes spirituality is a big paradox because there have been trade-offs trade-offs in the form of you know I don't drink as much and now I work out more. I don't watch TV and now I meditate more. I've made decisions and I've made trade-offs in my life that have assisted me in my up-leveling. So in that regard, there's trade-offs, right? We have to be willing to sacrifice what's not serving us and leave that behind, cut, cut, you know, cut that out and, and trade up in order to step into the life of our dreams and, and the health of our dreams and the relationship of our dreams and the career of our dreams. But you don't have to sacrifice any one area of your life in order for the other one to thrive. And if you're doing that, that's a very uh, lackful place to be. You know, in or I used to think that in order for me to um, really be successful in my career, I wasn't able to really have a relationship. And so anytime I was in a relationship, um, it would, I would, I would sabotage, um, my career or my business. Um, this was a very limited belief that was running under my radar. And so the manifestation that would appear to me with that, there would be certain aspects of my life that were in alignment and certain that were being sacrificed or compromised in order to thrive in another area. And it wasn't until I fully came into recognition that I get to have it all. And as I see this all popping into my experience in beautiful ways in all areas of my life, in health, in finance, in career, in a purpose-driven mission, in relationships, um, as I see all of this popping in, in equal proportions of abundance, in equal proportions of abundance, it does, I don't have to take from one area of my life in order to thrive in another area. You know, when you fully open up to receive the divine prosperity and the wellness and the flow of abundance that is the natural state of being, and you just stop blocking, you know, where you're keeping it from you, it all flows into your experience in abundant proportions and you don't have to take from one area of your life in order to fuel another area of your life anymore because you're no longer working on this energetic level of where you're going to put your effort or where you're going to put your your energy you're just open to receive it all and you're acting from a place of alignment and so everything starts to work its way into your experience in beautiful miraculous ways Whereas prior to this, I would say um, I was very much 
efforting in certain areas of my life. And I talk about this a lot with my clients as well. Like, like for example, in the area of business, very much like over efforting as this like boss babe, business boss babe, right? In this female hustler kind of persona, which actually was one big cover up. I, I am a driven woman. I am an ambitious woman. I do go after my dreams. I, 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 I have that, right? But there was an element of me over over efforting or over hustling in very much over masculinated ways and using the boss babe female hustler vibe persona as a mask to keep myself protected from being more vulnerable to open up in other areas of my life so i was very laser focused on career and I allowed that mask that I was wearing to be part of my personality per se. I was attached to it, I was identified with it. And so it would be easier for me to um, not let's say open up my heart in relationships and stuff like that or push relationships to the side per se because I was focused on business and I believe, you know, and I was focused on being just like misindependent, right? Half of that was a facade. Half of that was a mask that I was wearing that was actually disserving me because I was lying to myself and saying that, you know, uh, that I don't technically quote unquote uh, need a relationship or need this or that in order to move forward, which again, this is a paradox because essentially it's true and it's not true. It's true that I don't technically need someone in order to excel in my life but in actuality um i will thrive even more so when i allow it <laughs> when i allow someone to support me right and not in a support as in i need someone to you know support me financially so to speak but just emotional support loving support unconditional support and things like that and so it's been a trance a transformation and it's been a process in coming to the realization which is what I'm sharing with you here today is that you don't have to settle you get to have it all and now that I see the evidence of this popping in in all areas of my life I recognize how limited I was before telling myself a story that I could only thrive in certain areas of my life if I took from other areas of my life does that sound familiar to you um, and as I looked at that, I got one of my angel numbers that's been blasting me lately, which is 818, which for me is infinite blessings and abundance, massive success, massive abundance, infinite blessings. And this is the, this is the theme of this video. You get to experience avalanches of abundance in all areas of your life, divine prosperity in every sector of your life in wellness, in relationships, in love and friendships and business and career and having a purpose driven mission. You don't have to sacrifice your, 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 your freedom or your flexibility or your wellness lifestyle in order to be a successful spiritual entrepreneur. I see that one a lot where you feel like you have to overgive and deplete yourself and be of service, be of service, be of service. But at the same time, you end up that you, you start ending up where you're serving from this empty cup. That's not alignment. It's not alignment to be serving from an empty cup. It's not alignment to be serving from this place of lack. I don't believe that we are that we have to live in lack and that we get to have abundance in all areas of our life. And if lack is serving you at the moment in a certain area of your life, then it's serving you because it definitely has served me in my experience. I've went through very much cycles of feast and famine as an entrepreneur. I'm sure some of you can be familiar with that. Um, and just cycles, you know, of especially with money, um, big ups and big downs and stuff like that. But you don't have to continue continue to learn that way you don't have to continue to grow and evolve through lack or through struggle or through resistance you get to have it all 
And the sooner you open up to that and allow it, the sooner it will flow into your experience in all areas of your life. The sooner you start to believe and trust that you get to have it all. That you don't have to sacrifice. You don't have to compromise. You didn't come here to experience a mediocre life of lack and scarcity. That's not why you came here. If you're watching this video and resonating with this message, I just looked up and saw 1044. 144 is another one of my angel numbers that I'm getting blasted with. And many of you may be familiar with what that means to you. Um, for me, 144 is all about my mission of helping to raise to higher levels of consciousness on uh, planet Earth, helping people rise up into oneness consciousness, Christ consciousness, you know, what, however, unity consciousness, however you want to, uh, however you want to term it, but you get to have it all. And so that's the message today is recognizing, you know, where are you believing that you have to trade some part of your dream or desire in order to satisfy or thrive in another area of your life? Because there is a lie. There is, there is a lie hidden in there that you're telling yourself that once you start to shift that, you will open up to a brand new experience of what you're manifesting for yourself. So I just wanted to pop in here with this today. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments about this below the video, if this resonated with you. And if you liked this kind of content um, and information and you are in the market to really grow and scale your spiritual business, you can check out my Soul Line Success Masterclass. Uh, for the spiritual entrepreneur, women that want it all, they want the purpose-driven mission, but they also want the freedom-based, wellness-based lifestyle. They want the flexibility. They want it all, and they don't believe that they have to settle. You get to be on point with your mission, and you get to have an abundant, prosperous life as well. So if that resonates with you, that's what I help spiritual entrepreneurs build out is really impactful, powerful, lucrative business models that allow you to make a massive global impact on the front end of your business while um, creating that freedom-based, wellness-based lifestyle on the back end of your business because I don't believe in sacrifice. And if you don't believe that you have to sacrifice and you want to, and you want to get more of this and take that Soul Line Success Masterclass and it's below this video wherever you happen to be watching it. And if that resonates with you, you will get an invite to hop on a 60 minute deep dive session with me where we get to chat about your business goals and I'll help you identify a Soul Align six figure and beyond business blueprint for your business moving forward. And yeah, that's about all I wanted to share today. I hope this video finds you well and I look forward to tuning in with you in another episode. Namaste.